Hi everyone, welcome to the Ever Seeking Empath. I'm a reader who uses tarot, oracle, and charms, and today I wanted to do kind of a book themed reading. So today's question is, what does the next chapter of your life hold for you? So you can probably see I've got all these kind of books in the background. I've got these different playing cards that have famous authors on them. I've got this kind of bookstore day themed candle that's by um, Frostbeard Studios. So I picked that up at a local bookstore near me recently. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of indulge in this kind of book theme because it's getting colder by me and I, I love to read and I love just kind of the coziness um, that ensues when I've got a book and a blanket and my cats to just kind of cuddle with, you know, so I just wanted to kind of emulate that today. So before we get started, I did want to say that this is a general reading. So just know that not every message might be meant for you. So that's fine. Just, you know, take what resonates for your situation and disregard the rest. I do want to request if you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because it does help the channel. And then you get to see when I've posted new videos in the future. And also today I wanted to ask that after you've watched your pile, if you feel like it, um, maybe come up with a title of what you would call the energy of that pile. Like if it was the chapter of a book or even just the title of a book, come up with like kind of a creative name for that because I would love to hear what your ideas are. So yeah, please comment that below as well. So for the three piles here, pile one, we have William Shakespeare. Pile two, we have Jane Austen. And pile three, we have Edgar Allan Poe. So just use your intuition and let it guide you to a pile. It doesn't even have to be your favorite author. It can just be whichever one that you're not able to take your eyes off of or which one just intrigues you the most. You can watch all three if you want, just whatever you want to do. But just, yeah, take a deep breath. Let your intuition kind of pull you to a pile. I am going to put timestamps in the description and in the comments below. And now let's get started with pile number one. Hi, group one. So if you chose the Shakespeare playing cards here, then this is your reading. So we're going to do your tarot and oracle to start, and then we're going to shuffle your Shakespeare cards and then do your charms at the end. So let's figure out what's coming in the next chapter of your life. So for your tarot, you got the King of Wands, Strength, and the Eight of Cups. So I feel like you're finding your determination, your drive, your courage to move on from a situation that is no longer good enough, is no longer serving you, because um, this King of Wands is definitely very confident, driven, ambitious energy. Um, he has the drive to move forward, to make a plan and act on it and follow through. And then with the strength card that re represents courage and inner strength and fortitude, getting through things, resilience. And I feel like with this eight of cups that represents um, kind of moving on from things that aren't working for you anymore in the hopes that something better is on the horizon because see, he can't see what's beyond these mountains there. So I feel like you're kind of at your wits end with some kind of situation in your life and you're hoping that something better is out there and I think you're moving into a, a phase of your life where you're ready to actually take action on it and move on from whatever just has kind of stagnated and isn't good enough anymore. But let's see what your oracle cards have to say. So you got new beginning. So yeah, definitely you've got a new beginning coming for you. You've got raindrops, take a chance on them, number 39. So yeah, I think this is going to require you to kind of um, just trust and take a chance, take a risk and kind of be brave and, and move forward even if you feel like it might end up turning out badly. I think you're going to have to take a risk. Have faith, number 22. So yeah, I think it's going to require faith on your part as well that something better is out there and that you're, you don't have to settle for what your life is currently like. You have rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. So yeah, I think that's definitely saying that better things are on the horizon. If you trust and you move forward and you move on from whatever you feel isn't right for you anymore, I think that you're going to be pleasantly surprised by what you find on that horizon. You have love and also 
clarity. So I do think that for many of you, this might be a romantic situation or just um, kind of moving on from people and situations that no longer serve you and kind of filling your life with more love, filling your life with the right people at this point and finding the right ones for you. And I think you're finally kind of getting clear on what that means for you, you know, who you want in your life, what kind of traits they should have and like who is actually good for you and who is not. And because you got that love card, I am going to pull a Messages of Love Oracle card just to get some more info. So, yeah, let's get some more info on that love card. Whoa. Okay. So you got stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. So I wonder if you've had kind of some fair weather friends in your life that maybe just people who maybe were fun to hang around but were not there for you when things got tough, when things get bad. So I think you can trust that now, um, moving forward, I think you're going to find the right people, the people who will be there, um, whether that's in a friend sense or in a romantic relationship. I think you're going to find the right people who will actually stick it out for you through thick and thin and who will always be there for you. Um, so I do feel like for many of you, this does have to do with relationships of some sort that um, maybe you feel like you've been kind of sticking it out with the same old friend group or the same person in your life and you just feel like things aren't working in that sense and even if you're in a romantic relationship and a commitment maybe you're moving on from kind of accepting things as they are into a phase where you're like you know what I'm not okay with things being like this let's get some help let's go to counseling or let's talk about this some things need to change you know whatever that is I think you're finally kind of finding your inner courage to be able to move forward and to talk to people or to kind of drop the people who aren't going to be serving you who aren't good for you anymore and then let's get your Shakespeare playing card. So let's figure out, group one, what is this new chapter going to hold for you? Okay. So you got the eight of spades, which is like the eight of swords in tarot. And it says, now is the winter of our discontent from Richard III. So yeah, I feel like you've kind of been in a kind of cold, stagnant period where you felt trapped. Um, I think it just felt like things could not get better for a long time. And I think you're realizing that you have the ability to move forward um, and kind of drop the stuff that makes you feel trapped. You don't have to stick with things that make you feel trapped or with people who feel like they're just weighing you down. You know, I think you're, you're finding that courage to go, you know what, there are better people out there and I'm going to find them. So I really feel that that's what many of you are doing in this next chapter of your life. So let's get your charms now to get some more info. And I am using the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of the situation. So group one, what's coming for this new chapter for you guys? All right, so in the heart, we've got an angel here. So that's often a sign of just angelic protection or spiritual protection. Um, maybe it does represent having faith for you feeling like um, you have people on your side, but it can also just represent kind of the angels in your life right now, like the, the earth angels, the people who are actually going to be there for you, the people who will protect you and help you. Um, just kind of, I, I think you're, you're able to figure out now who those right people are, you know, who's actually going to be of benefit to your life and who's going to just drag you down and make you feel worthless or make you feel like your life isn't good enough or just make you feel drained after you spend time with them and I think you're finding the people who help build you up and where you feel like there's more of a mutual exchange of energy rather than just feeling like people take from you constantly so I think that that's a really good energy to have there um, we've got this tree in the heart here so I do think that um, some kind of love is growing for some people maybe there are people in your life already who you'd like to get to know better who you feel like would be better friends or better partner than the people who you currently have kind of in your inner circle. And I think that you're starting to make space for those people and you're allowing the better people to kind of come in. Um, as far as numbers go, we have number four, 11, 12, and 29. So I do think that um, those could be 
important dates or months, you know, November and December could be significant for you, um, but those particular dates might have more meaning for you as well. We've got the messages in a bottle here, so that could mean that communication is coming in from some people, so maybe stay open to that in case somebody reaches out to you who you're not expecting something from. It can also mean that new information is coming forward about people in your life, so if people are kind of coming out with things that make you realize that they're not as good as you thought they were, they're not good for you, or on the contrary, if you find out that people are actually much better than you expected, that you didn't expect such a good friend or potential partner to be in your life already or to be that kind of person, I think that pretty soon you're going to have that kind of awareness um, and things are going to start kind of coming to light because of some kind of communication or maybe um, like word of mouth that you'll hear something about somebody that will make you kind of intrigued. So, But I think you also need to listen to your inner wisdom and you might actually want to ask somebody for advice because I'm getting a lot of kind of like leaning on other people energy as well that I feel like there are people who are going to reach out to you and offer advice, offer their help. Um, you've got the hand too, so that represents um, somebody reaching out potentially or protection from somebody or by somebody, um, someone who wants to be there for you and help you out. You've got a couple of suns here. So you've got this sunflower, which is pretty much the same meaning as the sun, and you have the sun here. So I do think that a brighter future is on its way to you. I think that you're going to have better people in your life um, kind of coming in already. You've got Cupid here. So for many of you, this could be a new romantic partner. Um, it could be a friend that you've kind of tried to get a little closer to recently or you were going to try to get closer to and then all of a sudden you might kind of get that romantic feeling for them or you might see them in a new light. I think you're realizing that you can change the direction of your life right now and kind of move it wherever you want it to go. We've got Ganesh here who is uh, the remover of obstacles. So that could be that um, you've had some kind of things in the way and now you're realizing that those obstacles are more easily moved than you initially thought or you're having people kind of help you remove obstacles or you just have to move forward and have faith that those obstacles you see are going to be removed from your path. We've got this overflowing heart here so I do think that you're going to have people coming into your life who make you just feel like your soul and your heart is full. You know the people who just make you feel at home, you can laugh with them, you can cry with them, just you feel so like warm and loved and just like this kind of emotional hug around you when they're there, I think you're going to find some people like that soon. And I think if you're trying to figure out if these people are the right people, I think when you get that kind of feeling, like just you feel like swaddled in somebody else's warmth and love, then take that as a sign that these are the right people for you. With the theater masks, um, you might have been dealing with some people who were kind of two-faced, who would act one way around you and then do something else behind your back. Um, or they might have trouble like kind of being there for you with whatever emotions. Maybe they only come in when you're feeling good and then once you're struggling, then they leave or vice versa. You get kind of the like the opposite of a fair weather friend, like the people who seem to kind of thrive on drama and like just feed on those negative emotions and want to kind of like make them bigger, you know, make it worse. And I feel like um, you're getting people who are going to be a little bit more balanced, who will be there for you through thick and thin and through the good and the bad. But I think in order to find those people, you do have to kind of prune the, the bad ones from your lives. And I think that you've kind of figured out how to detect that a little better, like in people. And then we have this peace sign here. So I think um, a time of peace is definitely coming for you. You're not going to feel like things are as tumultuous or like the people in your life are as volatile. You've got the rose here. So I do feel like there's going to be a lot of kind of lasting love in your life. I feel like you're about to either meet the people who will be there for you forever or uh, you're going to kind of realize which people in your life are the ones who will be there through thick and thin and pretty much for your entire life or for at least for the next big phase in your life. I think these are also people who you can kind of go out with and have fun with, have a good time with. 
um, that you can kind of get like dressed up and go do fun things. I think these might be the people that if you're not married yet or you plan on getting married at some point, I think they're going to be the people around you, like in your wedding or you're going to meet the person um, that you're going to marry, you know, but I just feel like whoever's coming into your life right now, they are the people who will be there for you, like for the foreseeable future. And it's not going to be that kind of fair weather on and off, um, like kind of frenemy type of friendship, if that makes sense. We've got C and we've also got K for the letters. So that could kind of stand out for some people. And then we've also got the kind of, um, like waiters, uh, I think it's called just like the waiters corkscrew that's got like the different, um, devices on it and stuff. And that just represents kind of using whatever tool you have at your disposal and having the tools to get things done. So if, um, you've had friends who could only really do one thing, whether that was have fun with you or kind of tell you that the person you're seeing is a jerk, you know, that kind of like harsh truth kind of person. I think you're finding the people who have all of those sides and all those facets to them and you're not going to have to kind of fill your life with a bunch of shallow friendships or partners anymore that just kind of make you feel like one part of you fills up when you're around them, if that makes sense. Um, but I just think overall you've got some really great people coming into your life, but just know that in order to make room for them, you do have to kind of trim away the dead stuff you know remove the people that aren't good for you and that aren't serving you in any way and I think you have to kind of be okay with letting that go because only once you let things go and make room for new will that new stuff be able to come in so group one I hope that this resonates I would love to hear if it does so please leave me a comment below and also if you can think of a title for this next chapter in your life please comment that below too because I love creative stuff like that so if you can come up with something for this pile one um, I would love to hear what kind of creative titles you can come up with so yeah I hope you have an awesome rest of your day uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. So if you chose the Jane Austen playing cards, then this is your message. So I'm actually going to start with your tarot and oracle. And then after I do that, I will shuffle your Jane Austen card and then we will do your charms at the end. So let's figure out what new chapter is coming into your life. So you have the five of wands seven of wands, and six of cups for your tarot. So I feel like you're coming out of, or you might be kind of in the midst of this right now, um, but coming out of kind of a tumultuous period in your life where you might be kind of dealing with some competition, some turmoil, some conflict, you might feel like you're kind of standing alone right now and like kind of the world is against you or everyone in your life is kind of coming at you or just a lot of things in your life are kind of coming at you and making things difficult to deal with. But I think that you've got a person coming in to either offer help or to kind of just offer like a kind word or a hand, um, something like that. But with the five of wands, um, that represents that kind of conflict and turmoil. The seven of wands has to do with um, perseverance and standing on your own. You can see how all these wands are kind of coming at him and he's got the high ground here. And then with the six of cups, that can represent like somebody from your past coming back or just kind of that kind of just like a small kindness, you know, an act of kindness, someone coming forward. It can also represent uh, literal children because it's kind of a childlike card. Um, so it, that could be something that maybe you're hoping for children or you're expecting or um, like you're, maybe your children are the ones to kind of help you feel better or to help kind of step it up and help you out. But that's just kind of for a few people, I think. But just those are some kind of scenarios I'm seeing so far. But let's see what your oracle cards have to say. So you have Sea of Love. Sun, paint the sun back into your sky, number 11. You have Phoenix Rising, number 32. And Unleash Your Creativity, number 31. So yeah, with that sea of love, I think that you've definitely got 
um, some loving people coming to your life. I think that you've got someone who's going to kind of offer a hand and, and show you the love that you feel maybe like you've been missing for a while or that you've just been kind of shown the harshness and now um, like you can even see how there's kind of this like ice coming up and then the flower is kind of going down her. So I think maybe you've got kind of the harsh stuff out of the way and now you've got like a better more prosperous period ahead of you and I think you need to start trusting in yourself as well to kind of bring your happiness around because I think maybe you've been um, maybe in the past you've depended on other people but I think you know that you have the capability to stand alone with that seven of wands um, but I think once you kind of start feeling better and you recognize how much you've gotten through and how powerful you are those uh, good people are kind of coming in again. So like with this phoenix rising, I think you're realizing that you've gotten through the worst of it and you're able to kind of rise again. And I think maybe for some of you, this creativity could be key in this. Maybe you're trying to work on a creative project or something and somebody kind of offers to help you out or you get ideas from someone or it could just be maybe you're reconnecting with the creativity that you kind of lost track of from when you were a kid or um, when you were younger. You have surrendering to the journey, release control. So maybe that's something that you struggle with right now is kind of releasing control. I feel like with those um, like wands cards, those are definitely trying to kind of maintain control, like be in control. Like in the five of wands, they're all fighting for control. And then the seven of wands, he's kind of finally gained control, but he's still fighting that fight. So I think maybe you're recognizing that you can kind of take a step back and surrender that control. You don't have to grasp to it so tightly. You also have personal growth. So I feel like you're definitely growing as a person. I think with this Phoenix rising, um, you're kind of recognizing your power, but I think that you're starting to kind of rebalance the kind of drive and determination with like a softer, more loving energy as well. But because you have that like sea of love card and this could kind of relate to romance, I do want to pull you a messages of love oracle card. So let's kind of see what that has to say for more info okay so you got balance one person is giving too much in this relationship so yeah I do think that could be the case that maybe um you feel like you've been the one kind of fighting and, and giving so much and now you want to step back and see if people kind of come back and give to you but it could also be kind of a balance within yourself like that kind of active drive um like your driving force behind things and you're trying to balance that out with Kind of a softer more receptive loving energy at this point and now we are going to get your jane austen playing card as well to see what that has to say so group two what is this new chapter going to bring you okay so you have the queen of hearts which is like the queen of cups and it says angry people are not always wise and that's from pride and prejudice so I feel like, yeah, if there's, there could be a lot of kind of angry energy in this and maybe you've kind of, maybe you've been the angry one or other people have been angry and so maybe some harsh words have been exchanged and you've just been kind of in this constant fight mode and maybe you're kind of burnt out at this point and that's why you decided to take a step back and like just kind of reinvest that energy in yourself, start showing yourself some love and recognizing that you or the people that you've been dealing with are recognizing that maybe you didn't act in the best way and maybe you're kind of reconnecting with just the loving energy more of your inner wisdom and just recognizing that you don't have to fight so hard to grasp onto that control or like always have the high ground because with that seven of wands being right in the middle of this um, I think maybe you have been struggling to kind of maintain the high ground with some other people so just know that I think this next period of your life is going to be a little bit smoother. It's not going to be quite as tumultuous. And I think you're going to be able to leave that kind of intense energy behind for a while. So I want to see what your charms have to say, group two. So we are going to use the heart to figure out what's in the heart of the situation here. So group two, what is this next chapter of your life going to bring you? Alright, so in the heart you have this fox. So the fox has to do with cunning and kind of being wily, being smart, 
So maybe you've been kind of underhanded about some of the things you've been doing or somebody else has been that way towards you and you've been kind of trying to one-up each other. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting is that you've been trying to kind of just maintain control. And I think you're starting to kind of enter into new territory where you're not um, kind of trying to do that. You're not in such a competitive mindset anymore. And I think that is probably something new for you. At least it's something that you haven't been familiar with in a long time. So it's going to feel kind of uncertain and unfamiliar, but just know that you can still kind of embark on this journey and you will kind of find your groove again. So just trust in that. There also could be some travel coming for you, um, but that's just probably for a few people, but just in case that resonates with some of you. Um, we've got Libra energy here. So that definitely goes with that message of balance we were getting in your love card, um, your messages of love card, because... Um, Libra could be a zodiac sign of you or somebody involved in this situation, but it also just has to do with balance and give and take. Um, Libra is like very relationship oriented energy as well. So I do think that you're kind of in a power struggle in some of your relationships. And I think that you're finding ways to be balancing that kind of giving energy or like driving energy, like driving the relationship forward or being in charge. And you're balancing that with being more receptive and kind of following someone else's lead once in a while. Because I do think that you might need to kind of find a better balance in that, that I think it's probably not good for you or these other people to kind of constantly be in charge and be in like leadership mode because that can be burning you out. And I think other people might want the chance to kind of step up and step into their power and take charge. You've got the sunflower here, so that's definitely a positive omen because the sunflower is basically equivalent to the sun in the charms. And then you also have this sun here as well. So yeah, I think you're going to have a much happier, more blissful time coming your way. Um, I think it's kind of due in part to the fact that you're realizing that you can create your own life and you don't have to adhere to societal conditioning or to kind of old generational patterns or anything like that. Like if you were raised to believe that you should be a certain way um, and you're kind of struggling to let go of that just because your family was very traditional or very non-traditional or whatever, just know that you can figure out what works for you and what patterns you want to follow. And you don't even have to stick to one pattern. You can just kind of play it by ear and communicate with the people you're involved with and know that you can change things as and, and adapt as needed. I think you're realizing that there are solutions to the problems that you've been having with this key here. And with the bar cart, I think you realize that you have a lot more options than you initially thought. Um, I think you felt kind of restricted at some point to, um, like you felt restricted by whatever these kind of societal expectations or, or family patterns or whatever they were. Um, and I think you're realizing that when you recognize all your other choices, you can find something that works better for you. You have the number four here, so that could be a significant date or month or just like a lucky number for someone. And then for the letters, you have G, A, and W. Um, so those could kind of stand out for people. It does spell wag, like a tail wag, but I'm not sure if that's going to resonate for anybody, but that's just kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, you've got the weight here. So I do think that that's part of why you're kind of moving into a more receptive, um, phase of your life is that you've been carrying this heavy weight for so long of trying to be in charge or take care of everything. And I think you need to put that weight down because the longer you carry it, the heavier it's going to feel. And I think you need a chance to kind of recover and relax a little bit so that somebody else can kind of carry that burden for you for a while. I think you're listening to your inner wisdom now and you might be asking some wise people for advice as well and you're kind of getting some um, good guidance from that. You could be asking spirit guides and that kind of thing as well for guidance and I think that you're starting to get to the point where maybe you're more willing to listen to this advice as well. You have the leopard um, here so that always makes me think of like a leopard can't change their spots but I always feel like you're realizing a leopard can change their spots, that you are able to adjust, adapt, change the way that you operate as long as you put the work in and you're realizing that maybe a change is what's needed for you to feel a little bit more yourself, you know, more authentic, like you're not just doing something because it's an expectation anymore, you're doing it because it's what feels right in your gut. And you also have beauty. So I think 
you're seeing more beauty around you. I think you're kind of slowing down is allowing you to kind of look around, see the beauty in life, see the beauty in the people in your life. I think you're practicing gratitude and you're recognizing what things in your life you have to be grateful for. And if you're not kind of at that point yet, I think you will be soon. Like once you kind of put down these burdens, I think that's going to give you the chance to kind of slow down and see what the world has to offer. And you're going to be able to kind of see tiny details that you'd otherwise not necessarily take notice of, you know, because I feel like if you're stressed, if you're burdened by things, um, you don't always notice all these little things around you because you just don't have the, the mental space to notice it. You know, you've got so many other things to worry about. So I think moving into this new phase is going to give you the chance to notice all these things um, in life around you. And I think that you have some wonderful, beautiful people in your life or who are going to kind of be stepping up in your life so that I think you're going, going to be grateful for them as well. So group two, I hope that this resonated and I would love to hear if it does. So please leave me a comment below. Um, I'd also like to ask if you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you can see when I've posted new videos. And also if you uh, would like to come up with a title for this pile two um, kind of energy, if you had to title a chapter or a book um, based on this energy, what would you call it? Um, so I'd love to see what you guys can come up with because I love creative stuff like that. So please comment that below as well. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi Pile 3. So if you chose the Edgar Allan Poe playing cards, then this is your message. So I'm going to start with your tarot and oracle and then I'm going to pull your Edgar Allan Poe playing card and then we're going to do your charms at the end. So let's figure out what your next chapter is going to bring you. So you have the Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, and Ten of Cups for your tarot. So I feel like you're maybe kind of entering kind of a new phase. You're starting to explore something new, and I think that this energy is going to start picking up like you're going to start kind of seeing some momentum and you might start getting kind of overwhelmed with things that are coming but just know it can bring you emotional fulfillment and I think you're going to be really pleased with the result because this page of wands is kind of a fresh uh, new eye like exploring energy that kind of beginner's mind and just like getting excited and enthusiastic about what's to come the eight of wands um, obviously you can kind of see it's they're all spiraling off so it's kind of a little bit of a stressful energy but it signifies movement forward and kind of things picking up and your manifestations coming true and it can also represent communication as well so if you're kind of hoping for communication or expecting communication to come in that could be something that's coming as well and then with the ten of cups that's just like your happily ever after energy you know emotional fulfillment things feeling really good just being very content with what your life has brought you so yeah, I definitely feel like you're going to have some kind of exciting new experiences coming, but it's going to bring you that emotional fulfillment. But I do want to see what your oracle cards have to say. So you have good fortune. So yeah, that's definitely a good omen. I think that definitely signifies that you're having some good new things coming into your life. You have tree, let them go, number 18. So you might have to let some things or people go from your life in order to kind of move forward but that can also represent like letting go of um, like a family conditioning or societal conditioning like breaking those old patterns that you've kind of been stuck in just because that's what's been perpetuated in centuries past and generations past so I think you're realizing that you are your own person and you can embark on a new endeavor if you want to but you might have to let go of some old kind of outdated conditioning first you have patience number 23 and sexuality number four so with that patience card i think right now you might be in a period where you're going to have to be patient or even in the future you might have to be patient for a while but once things pick up i think they're going to be picking up quickly like all of a sudden it's just going to be like go 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 and that might be overwhelming for you so i think during this time of patience just kind of Try to recharge and reflect and just use this time to kind of rest up before you start moving forward more quickly. And with sexuality, that can also, um, aside from just the obvious, it can represent 
kind of love and appreciation of your body, you know, treating it well, um, trying to get healthy, just making sure that you are showing yourself self-love, if that makes sense. Just making sure that you're being kind to yourself and kind of speaking kindly of yourself and just, yeah, just showing love for your body and for what it can do. You have traveling lightly, simplify your life. So that kind of emphasizes that tree, let them go energy. And you also have stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. So I think you're starting to realize how powerful you are. And that might be one of the reasons that you're able to kind of step out of this old conditioning is that you're realizing that you are powerful and you don't need that to fall back on anymore. And that does kind of go with the sexuality card. Like if you're stepping into your power and you're confident in yourself, I think that that's an energy that's really going to kind of ramp up in the near future. And then finally, you have courage. So yeah, I think this new phase of your life is going to take a lot of courage from you. I think you're going to have to kind of be brave and move forward confidently, even if you don't feel confident. I think that's going to be really important in this new phase. But I think that you're going to realize that the more confident you act, the more you're starting to feel it. Because with this Page of Wands, you know, he's enthusiastic but not necessarily confident because he doesn't necessarily know what to do yet, but he's stepping forward courageously anyway, you know? So I think that then as that picks up, you're going to realize that it's going to kind of just build on itself and you're going to become more and more confident with time. So just because you have that sexuality card in particular and that 10 of cups, um, which can also be kind of like a happily ever after romantically card, um, I do want to pull you a Messages of Love Oracle card here. So we're going to shuffle you one of those to just get some more information. Um, hold on, let me, I'm kind of dropping them here, so hold on one second. So yeah, let's figure out group three. All right, so you got healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting, which is definitely what I was thinking of with this let them go. It could be some old wounds from like growing up or how you were raised. Maybe you were raised to be a little more kind of ashamed of your body and kind of who you are. And I think that's affected your confidence just in yourself and in your abilities as well. So I think maybe that's what you need to be working on during this patience period is just working on healing yourself and kind of recognizing that those old wounds are not serving you anymore and doing what you can like taking care of yourself practicing self-care and self-love in order to help heal yourself and I think that you're going to realize that things are going to start turning out much better and you're going to feel a bit more whole in the pretty near future and now we are going to pull your Edgar Allan Poe playing card so group three let's figure out what this next chapter is going to hold for you Oops, sorry, I kind of hit the camera with that. Um, so you got the Eight of Diamonds, which is the Eight of Pentacles. And it says, There is something in the unselfish and self-sacrificing love of a brute, which goes directly to the heart of him who has had frequent occasion to test the paltry friendship and gossamer fidelity of mere man. And that's from the Black Cat. So I think quite literally you can take this to mean you know, turn to, if you have pets, um, turn to them for love and for healing because they, I mean, animals have amazing healing powers in my opinion, you know, they've got such unconditional love and they just, you know, they need, I mean, they obviously need love and care from you, but they just, they return it in such spades. And I think that that's even the energy that you might need to be showing yourself is that kind of unconditional kind of pervasive love that animals show us. So I think that if you have a pet or you have pets around you somewhere, like if you have access to pets of other people's, um, I think kind of turning to them and, and spending time with animals would help you. But otherwise, just practice that kind of unconditional love for yourself. And I think that that will help you in your healing process. But I do think that this is going to just kind of build exponentially and you're going to be very, very surprised as to how much easier and easier it's going to get as time goes on. So group three, I do want to get your charms now. So I am using the heart today to figure out what's in the heart of the situation. So group three, what is this next chapter of your life bringing you? So in the heart, you have this kind of whirlpool here, which 
for me usually represents kind of tumultuous emotions, but I'm also seeing kind of the parallel between that and the shape of this eight of wands here where they're all kind of in the swirl. So I do think that that's going to kind of represent how this is going to start changing. You know, it might be overwhelming for you just how quickly things are going to change and move forward, but I think just trust in that and kind of turn to people that you love because we've got the heart of gold here. So I think um, just kind of that love for yourself in particular and uh, kind of meaning well when you move forward is going to help you. And I think you're going to find people in your life as well who mean well, who will be offering to help you. I think you might be getting some good advice from people. Um, I think you might have some people around you that can kind of help facilitate your healing. But I just think kind of investing a lot of energy into self-love is going to help kind of get you through this next phase. Um, I just want to see what we've got down here as well. Um, we've got the starfish here. So that's a symbol of healing because when they lose their limbs, they end up growing them back. So yeah, I think definitely there's a lot of healing energy here. Um, you've got Virgo as well, which could be your zodiac sign or the sign of somebody involved in this situation, but it can also kind of have to do with detail and perfection. And I feel like I'm getting that kind of perfectionism message coming through. So I feel like maybe you are a perfectionist with the work that you do, but I feel like in particular, this has to do with your self-worth, um, like that you tend to be a perfectionist about how you look, what your body is like, what it does. Um, and I think that you are very, very critical of yourself. And I think that that's something that that healing is going to start happening in the future. Cause that's really, I think what the focus is on in this. Cause we've also got Bastet here, who is the Egyptian goddess of the home of fertility, of sexuality. Um, I think of femininity. So correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just my understanding of it. Um, that she, yeah. So I think she's maybe even like kind of call upon her to kind of help facilitate your healing and your comfort in your sexuality and just kind of comfort in your own body and like kind of loving and protecting yourself because I feel like maybe in the past you might have kind of turned to other people to protect you and that ended up kind of blowing up in your face so just know that you have the ability to move forward on your own and to Give yourself the love that you need and that you deserve. And with, um, since she here is depicted as a cat as well, I think that's another message of just, you know, turn to the animals in your life to help kind of facilitate that self-love and to kind of feel what that unconditional love feels like as well. And I think that that might kind of help you with your healing process. You have cool here. So I'm getting kind of a dual message here. I feel like maybe you've been kind of concerned with being cool with how other people talk to you or like if people would make jokes at your expense or something like that maybe you've been kind of trained to just shrug it off and not stand up for yourself or to not um, say anything bad about it like that you had to kind of be okay with it because if you tried to stand up for yourself people would just shoot you down more so I think that that's one and then just kind of being cool with your own body and kind of the way that you look and and who you are as a person, I think, is something that you're still kind of trying to work on as well. I think you're having to kind of train yourself to not bend over backwards for other people anymore, especially when those same people would not bend over backwards for you. I think you're becoming enlightened um, with the Buddha here. I think you're becoming enlightened of kind of what, where you need to like work on yourself, what you need to do in order to show yourself some love and in kind of how your disapproval of yourself is holding you back. With this owl here, I think you're starting to listen to your inner wisdom and you might have wise people in your life um, giving you advice and kind of helping you out and helping you recognize um, like where you're selling yourself short. You might be maybe seeing a counselor or that might be something that you're thinking about doing in order to kind of help you start on that kind of growth process and the self-love and just kind of treating yourself with more kindness. I think you might have some people who are going to reach out to you and communicate because we've got that, uh, the messages in a bottle, which is a message of communication. And we've also got this Cajacaeus, which is the symbol of Hermes, who is the communicator. 
um, the messenger of the gods. So I feel like you might have some messages coming in. You might be wanting to reach out to others in order to kind of get some support as well with your healing. You might want to communicate with, you know, therapists. Like I keep getting that kind of therapy thing. So that might be a sign for a few people that if you've been kind of considering therapy or counseling of some sort, like asking a professional for help, this is a sign maybe that would be a good idea for you. You know, that might help you to kind of show yourself some love and to like give you the tools so that you can kind of refill your cup on your own and not turn to like toxic people to try to help you like refill your confidence and how you feel about yourself. We've got the fairy here. So that has to do with like faith, faith and trust, but it also is just kind of a very joyful, playful energy as well. So I think just finding joy in, in little things and, um, just kind of embracing some kind of childlike energy and just being like light and playful and laughing a lot, I think will kind of help you get through this time period as well. Um, just with that 10 of cups to just kind of turning to people that you love and who are supportive and feel warm to kind of help you just feel good, you know, to, I think you're going to have a lot more laughter kind of coming into your life soon. I think that's one of the things that is going to result from this healing process and from the self-love you're kind of starting to show yourself. But I do think in order to get to that point, you might need to kind of open up. And I feel like you feel like it's going to be opening a can of worms with this kind of pull tab. Um, I feel like this is something maybe you don't open up to a lot of people. Maybe you used to try to do that in the past and it was just, it didn't turn out well. So you tend to keep things bottled up. But I think it's going to feel freeing for you to open up to some people let it out, let out your emotions and just recognize that you have people who will still care about you even if you're not putting up this facade of perfection because perfection does not exist in anyone. So just know that people, there are people out there who will accept you for your flaws and all and just trust in that. You know, you can be accepting and loving of yourself, not even despite your flaws, but with them, like including them. And then you've got Pride and Prejudice here. So I know that this is the Edgar Allan Poe pile, but you did get a Jane Austen book here. So that could be a significant um, story for some of you out there, or it could also just refer to kind of first impressions of people. You know, maybe there are people in your life that you kind of brushed off that the first impression wasn't great, but maybe you're starting to kind of come around that they've maybe been the people who are a little more supportive than others and you're starting to kind of question yourself and wonder if they have good or bad intentions and feeling like maybe you judge them too quickly at the beginning. So just know that there might be some people who kind of surprise you as far as um, like how supportive they can be and how loving they can be towards you. So I think that's just something to keep in mind that you might have some kind of unexpected allies coming your way. And then you also have this kind of little boy charm. So I feel like, yeah, for a lot of you, this kind of feeling damaged and feeling imperfect and being ashamed of that started when you were very, very young. So just know it's going to take time for you to get out of these habits and to kind of change the way that you talk about yourself and the way that you think about yourself and look at yourself and just be patient with yourself for that because you know, it built up over so many years and just know that it's going to take quite a bit of time to start undoing that. You know, it's not going to be an overnight process. So just give yourself some time, show yourself patience and grace and just know that things will get better. You know, things can get better. So just trust in that and show yourself the love that you would somebody that you love deeply. So group three, I really hope that this resonates. I would love to hear if it does, so please leave me a comment below. Um, also, if you can come up with a title for what this pile three kind of energy would be, if it was a chapter or a book, um, please comment that below as well, because I love kind of creative stuff like that. Also, if you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so that you can see when I've posted new content. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.